Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today, we're going to be playing a little bit of Fafnir. And we're up against a Thanatos. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm trying, you know, we got... I think we got a game with every single Guardian on the last map. So now I'm slowly going to get a game with every single Guardian on this map. And we'll just do them in whatever order. I know Fafnir, a lot of people have been wanting that. Fafnir is kind of one of my specialties. So let's do it. Uh, I think we can we can start a couple of items here. Uh, Tainty still is kind of cool against Thanatos, but I don't know if we need that. Sands of Time is my favorite, just because of the cooldown and mana sustain it gives, which is super important to Fafnir. Uh, and we can either go an Aegis or something of the sort. I think an Aegis is fine. We have a built-in Aegis with our ultimate, uh, and we just kind of need that for the Thanatos all. Now, we can try to juke it and stuff like that, but that's not super consistent. Of war, perhaps. Hmm. But yeah, Fafnir, one of the... He has an insanely strong late game. This is the map that I really started playing him on back, way back when. Uh, but you gotta survive the early game, because his early game's okay. It's, it's gotten a lot better over time. Um, because in the past, his wave clear was just so much worse, but then they would buff him. Oh, that's interesting. He waited for my clear to go for this. Oh, he just wanted the minis. Understandable. I think he knows that I can't go for red buff anyways. I can't really go for anything, so getting those minis is a nice advantage for him, but if he doesn't get the last hits on these minions, then he gets less gold anyways. Um, yeah, I'm ahead in gold. He's ahead in XP. Use my three to dodge the scythe and it clears the wave, but also clearing myself, which is cool. Factor's three is so weird because, uh, you know, it's... Whoa, 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 whoa! Because, um, the time you're in the air depends on how far away you are from your destination. Okay, if he goes for that, we go for our blue buff. Because the last thing we want is him stealing our blue buff. Giving up red buff is fine. It's completely fine as Fafnir, but giving up blue buff, no. We cannot do that. Come on, Fafnir. Use those little arms to swing your hammer. The ult right here, that would be problematic. Okay, we do miss some of the wave. We are falling behind, but as Fafnir, falling behind in the early game is expected. Um, and it, plus, we're going against Santos, which it is an early game based god. So... It kind of throws, uh, kind of exaggerates how good his early game is going to be. We just got to try to survive. Did he hit that? No, it was a ghost hit. I actually immuned it. Or didn't immune it. I guess I should say dodged it. Help getting that blue buff was important. He's going for the minis right now. I don't know if he's going to plan on recalling after that. We do have kill potential with our ultimate. We do. Um, but we have to get a very specific position. Oh, not like that. <laughs> not like that. If I hit my one, I would have ulted there, but... Nope. I have it on instant cast. It definitely helps with abilities that go in a straight line. For me, anyways. But, uh, yeah. Not for... Not for little old Fafnir. Or not for that situation, I guess. Like, I go back and forth. Sometimes I think the instant cast is better. Sometimes I think the quick cast is better. Overall, I think instant cast is better. I just got to be more careful. I'm just going to get the timer for this because none of these are going to be up for a while. His blue buff's still up, so I might try to steal this. I think he's going to go for it. Oh, unless it goes this way, which makes it awkward. Which makes it super awkward. Okay, I don't think I can kill him, but if I push him back, I can steal his, his blue buff. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, something, <laughs> something weird that I did there was that I needed to level up an ability, but I had already used my one. So I leveled up my two instead, hoping it would give me a little bit of extra damage. Hopefully it doesn't steal this, even though I'm stealing it. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, that is his ultimate. Let's look at the mini-map to know when to jump. 
Although, now? Okay, cool. That was so close, my god. <laughs> if he did hit us, uh, we might have still been able to get away, but because uh, we weren't crazy low. Alright, you guys know the drill I'm fafter. Uh, we can go, we don't have to go breastplate because late game, sands of time plus breastplate is going to be 40% on its own and then power potion is 50% cooldown, which is over capped, but it doesn't matter. I think breastplate is still great to go here, mostly because we need that early game help. Yep, <laughs> little zigzags for the juking. And now we actually, with our bank routes, we have a nice power spike. We can actually fight in dwarf stance, which is super rare for Fafnir, by the way. Yeah, I'll fight here because his ult sh still should be down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my ult, dude. Keeps going back and forth. Stop it. Stop going back and forth. There we go. That wasn't well done because I missed my three and missed my hammer, but it's okay. If things were going poorly, we could have just left, of course, as well. Did I accidentally not put a point in my ult? Or is that next level? I guess it's next level. Whoops. All right, we're good. I guess that's when I was fighting him last time. I decided to level up the two. I think on Fafter, most of the time, it's worth leveling the one and then the three, actually. Uh, but leveling the two can help sometimes. Let's get a Chalice. Chalice is always a good pickup and duel. Oh, he's going for... No, he's going for minis. He's not even going for Demon King. If he had mannequins, I would be worried about him taking Demon King, trying to sneak it. But I don't. I think without mannequins, he can't do it. Unless he's gone for an extensive period of time. Yeah, no, we're good. Whoops. We both have kind of hard to hit ones. I don't know which one's harder to hit, Fafnir one or Thantos one. I think they're about the same. They've got pretty close to the same hitbox. All right, he should be dead unless he ults out. Oh, he's going for the wave, man. If you, yeah, if you go for the wave, I'm going to get you. I think I'm going to get him either way, actually. Oh, man, I was too slow. I should have went over the blue buff wall. He would have had nowhere to go. All I would have had to do was hit my one. That's okay. Ah, now I can't steal his blue buff, though. Can I? Maybe I can. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Bye-bye. <laughs> I got what I came for. Now I'm outie. He's going Genji's. So he's going to have 20% cooldown once he finishes that... Transcendent stacking. Bye bye now, dude. All right, let's get this. Now we are in a pretty strong spot. I'm gonna get Spear of the Mages. All the OG Smite players will know that for my old videos, I used to love how uh, Spear of the Mages would work on Fafnir. The old Spear of the Mages passive was. Every time you hit an ability, it would lower their protections by 10% or by 10 flat protections. And it would stack up to like five times. But with Fafnir's 2, you could actually apply it with two towers. And man, I missed that. I missed that. Let's put more points by three. I don't know why I'm leveling up my twos this much. But yeah, I missed that, man. New Spirit Mages is still really good. And I'm not new. It's old now, but... Spirit Mage is still good on Fafter, it just doesn't apply to Towers. We can dive him here. We're, we're so far ahead at this point. We just do tremendous amount of damage. Might juke him or Aegis. No, he didn't go on me. I was looking at the minimap. Oh, but then he turned around, which I don't think was a good idea. 
Yeah, if if he was gonna go on me, which I think would have been super risky anyways, it should have definitely been when I was being targeted by tower. And that is game. Oh man, that's a nine minute game. Should I do another one? I don't know. I don't know. I think that might be a good that might be a fine one. Considering that Thafter has such a rough time in the early, uh, and we played pretty good in the early game. That was that was great. Some good moments. Uh, I think that might be fine. It's a shame my border is just a gold border with Fafner. I think I lost some really dumb games. GG's. Here are the match details. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know any gods you guys want me to play. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.